So what's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose. So every once in a while, I'll do this where I bring you into my bedroom and I show you some of my collection because from here down, there's a lot more down here. Um, I've actually got have to get another shelf because I'm running out of room. Um, I'm like stacking them like five deep and eight across and it's getting ridiculous. But um, I figured... It's really hot outside, so I try to give you some ideas of uh, fragrances that you may want to try. Um, I'm not going to get into too many notes or anything. I'm just going to go through them quickly because I don't want to make this a 40-minute uh, video. But I've got my coffee. I've got my air conditioning. Thank God. I've got my fragrances. I've got you. So everything's good. So let's get, let's get to it. Um, first off, let's talk about this one. Guess Seductive Red. Now, Guess Seductive Red has lemon zest, cinnamon, fig. Oh, it's really, really nice. Some people say it smells like Boss Bottled or One Million. Um, it's a great summer fragrance. Smells really, really nice. Cheap as hell. I mean, you can still find these at the rack stores um, or online at a cheap price. So, Guess Seductive Red doesn't last super long. But for the price you're going to pay for it, it's it's worth getting and you just respray. So that's number one. Number two is going to be Davidoff's Cool Water Wave. Now, some people say this smells like Invictus. Uh, really, really nice. I like it much better than, than Cool Water. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, it's just Cool Water to me. Smells nice, but it's a, a little barbershoppy to me and it's it's got an old, old style scent. This is much fresher, much cleaner. This has got um, sea notes, grapefruit, uh, Szechuan pepper. So it's it's a really good one. Um, it's an eau de toilette. Again, longevity, questionable, but really, really nice. You should get some good longevity out of it, though. You know, if, if you get four hours out of a fragrance, that's not bad. But, you know, everybody nowadays wants, like, if I don't get eight to 12 hours out of a fragrance, I'm not going to buy it. Come on. Um, and plus, you're not spending that much money on these. So uh, this is a good one to get. Another one is Kismet Moscow. Now, everybody knows Kismet, which is a clone of Tuxedo. Kismet Moscow is a clone of Vodka on the Rocks by Killian. And it's a good one. It's got coriander, aldehydes, cardamom. Uh, it's got ambroxan, oak moss, sandalwood. I like it. It. The only thing about it is it smells a little, at the beginning, a little medicinal. But that tr starts to dry down and gets into like this nice, musky, really citrusy kind of scent. Really, really nice. I like this one a lot as well. Um, another one that I enjoy is... Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Now, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, people say it smells like Invictus and Hawass. And it does, but it's got a another note to it. I've got to look at this because it's got grapefruit, bergamot, pink pepper, um, wood, oak moss. And I think what I smell a bit in it is that grapefruit. Uh, but it's really, really good. I enjoy this one a lot. I don't know why I got such a small bottle, though. 30 ml. I should have gotten a big one. But when you have this many, 30 ml is fine. So that's a good one to get. Another one that's really nice is this one, Versace Porome. Versace, God, I put a dent in that one. Wow. Versace Porome, every now and then I'll hit it and I'll, I'll smell it. And it reminds me of how good it smells. This has got uh, lemon, bergamot, sage, uh, cedar, um, tonka bean, musk, amber. And it's a really nice freshie, even though it has the, all those like cedar, musk, amber, all of that at the end. Um, it's It comes off as being a really nice fresh scent. It's very versatile. You could probably wear this in the winter as well. Really, really good one uh, to get. The next one is Fakar by Latafa. Now Fakar is, this was known as Fakar Black because there are two or three Fakars. Um, this one is apple, what does it have? Bergamot, neroli, rose. And this is supposed to be a clone of YSLY perfume. Um, and it is so good. Really, really good for the spring and summer. If you let it macerate for a while, just let it sit. 
um, it'll it'll get stronger because when I first got it, I found that it didn't last as long, but I've had it for about a year now, and now when I spray it, it, it gives me some good longevity, so not a bad one to get if you want to smell like YSL Y uh, Eau de Parfum. This is a really, really good one. Um, another one that I really enjoy is this one. This is uh, Fragrance World's Moonlit Night, the one and only. This is a clone of Deutsche Gabbana's uh, Luminous Night. And man, this smells so damn good. Really, really good. I don't remember the notes in this one. But, ah, oh, it's really, really good. This one is more of a, to me, a nighttime fragrance. Something you would wear dressed up because it just, it's, it smells sophisticated. It's a really good scent. Not that expensive either. So this is a, a really good one to get. Now this one, I've talked about it a few times. This is uh, Fragrance World's Hardwood, and this is an, an EDP. This is supposed to be a clone of a now discontinued Bath & Body Works fragrance uh, called Mahogany Wood. And Mahogany Wood, you can still find it, but you're gonna pay ridiculous amounts of money for it uh, on eBay. Like I'm talking in the hundreds, which is stupid for a fragrance that cost you initially like 30 bucks. Hardwood does a good job of uh, mimicking that scent, and it's a really, really nice one as well. Doesn't cost that much either. Now, another one that I like is this one, Dossier's Aromatic Ginger. This is a clone of Lemonisit. I think I said that right. Um, and the one thing I really enjoy about Dossier's is they come with magnetic t t uh, caps, and they also tell you the notes right on the bottle. So this has ginger, grapefruit, uh, marine notes, clary sage, amberwood, uh, labdanum, beautiful, beautiful scent. And this is one of my favorite uh, from Dossier. It smells so, so good. Now I know a lot of people talk about, I think it's Mason Alhambra's Jean Lo, uh, might be Mason Alhambra, I'm not sure, um, that that's supposed to be a really good clone of, of Lemonacy, but this one, I've had it for a while and I enjoy it, so I don't see a need to get the other one. Um, another one that's really nice is Deutsche Gabbana's Light Blue. Now this one I do have notes for, hold on. This has notes of grapefruit, bergamot, Sicilian, uh, mandarin, and juniper, and this thing is beautiful. It's clean, it's fresh, it's, it's, it's everything you want in the summer fragrance. Um, a lot of people talk about light blue intense. I don't have that one, um, but I'm fine with this because this smells so, so good. Another one that's really good of theirs is light blue uh, love is love. Everybody talks about forever. Um, I don't have that one, but love is love is a really nice one. And I put quite a dent in that one as well. Um, what's another one? This one by Armaf. Club de Nuit Siage. Club de Nuit Siage has black currant in it, lime, lemon, violet leaf, ginger. This is a clone of Creed Silver Mountain Water. And I love this sprayer. It's a really, really good one. It lasts forever. Um, really good longevity, really good projection. Perfect for the spring and summer. Um, and I think it's versatile. I think you can dress this down. I think you can dress it up. Really, really good one as well. Now, one that is supposed to smell like Creed's original Santal is this one, Mont Blanc Individual. And Mont Blanc Individual is really, really nice. Now, I don't know why, but every time I hear the word Santal, I think Palo Santo, um, which is a note that gives it a certain type of scent. I think of uh, Santal 33, you know, uh, those those types of fragrances. And this doesn't have that. It doesn't smell like there's Palo Santo in it, which there isn't. There's a uh, juniper, lavender, cinnamon, pineapple, orange blossom, patchouli, vetiver, oak moss. This has got a lot of notes, but this smells really, really nice. And in the spring and summer, you can't go wrong.
I'm wearing my glasses. Oh, what else do I have? Uh, Kismet Moscow. Cool Water Wave. Seductive Red. Another one that's really, really good, and it's cheap as hell, uh, and you can still find this, although I haven't seen it at, at Burlington for a while, but um, it's this one. Guess 1981 Los Angeles. This is a clone of Versace Eros, and it is a pretty good clone of it, and it is a fraction of the price of Versace Eros. Um, and it smells good, guys. It smells really, really good. I totally recommend this. If you like Versace Eros, you will like this. I, I recommended this to my brother, and he's on his like fourth bottle of this because he loves it so much, and he sees no need to get Versace Eros. He had it, but now he just buys Guess uh, because it's it, he likes it that much. Um, what else do I have for you? Another one that I like a lot is this one, Star Walker by Mont Blanc as well. Star Walker is one of the most relaxing fragrances I have ever smelled. It's got... Um, bamboo, bergamot, mandarin orange, and it is, if, if I'm stressed out or if I just want to relax at home, I will put this on because that bamboo has a certain scent to it that just calms me down. It's just so damn good. I have three, I think three backup bottles of this because it has been discontinued. You can still find it at Burlington for the most part, sometimes at TJ Maxx. But um, you can always find it online as well. But this is really, really good. And I'm glad that, you know, even though it's discontinued, there's still a lot of bottles out there. Um, I may get a couple more because I enjoy it that much. Now, another one that I really enjoy is this one. And this is uh, by Latafa. And this is Najdia. Najdia, a lot of people compare it to Invictus and Hawass. I find it more, it's close to, to Hawass. It's a it's really, really nice scent as well. Spicy, it's really spicy. I'm going to sneeze in a few seconds. I'm going to cut that out, but it's really spicy. Now, I think that that feeling of spiciness comes from the cinnamon that it has in it. This is a very linear scent, though. It smells one way at the beginning, and it smells the same way at the end. It doesn't change that much, but as far as being a really nice versatile because you can wear this throughout the year scent this is a, a nice one this is najdia by uh latafa now if you uh, now if you want to smell like elysium uh by rojas uh you want to smell like elysium but you don't want to spend too too much money uh you've got options you've got uh you've got fragrance world's imperium you've got uh Fragrance by .ca's FOMO, a Fraghead's Asylum. But you also have this one, Hugo Boss Reversed. This smells a lot like Elysium. I mean, it, it really, really does. And it's really nice. Yeah, it smells like Elysium. You're not going to get that longevity. I mean, first of all, Elysium doesn't last that long to begin with. Um, and neither do either of these either. Um, so... I don't know if it's just the DNA and the way it's made, uh, you know, with the notes that it uses. It dies out fairly quickly. I'm talking like four hours, you know, but this one lasts a good long time and it smells like Elysium and it's cheap. So Hugo Boss Reversed, if you see it, pick that up because it's not a bad scent at all. Last one is this one. And this is uh by armaf and this is Art odyssey mandarin sky this is a clone of scandal and this is so so beautiful it's uh it's got orange citruses it's it's really really good great for the summer um i think you can wear it any time during the, the summer day or night uh it's just a fresh clean citrusy orangey kind of scent and it's so so good um the bottle's hokey as hell 
but really good. So guys, that's what I have for you as far as fragrances are concerned. Now, I will give you, because remember I'm trying to do that thing where I give you a layering uh, combo. And this one comes from a, a subscriber of mine, Al Matos Baseball. And he said to try uh, Creed Aventus with Tuscan leather. Um, now, I don't have Tuscan leather and I don't have Creed Aventus. I do have Creed Aventus, but I have a little decant. I'm not gonna use it for layering. So I used Club de Nuit Intense Man um, with Toscano leather by Mason Alhambra. Um, and it works really, really nice. I put Toscano leather on first, and then I put uh, CDNI second. So I did two of Toscano and one of Club de Nuit. And it does smell nice. You have to play with it. You know, maybe one of Toscano and one of the other one of, of this one. Um, but it is a nice fragrance. Uh, give it a shot. See if you like it. But thank you uh, for, for suggesting that and keep them coming because I really like the uh, layering um, suggestions you guys have. And if I don't have what you recommend, I may have something that clones it. So I'll just give you that idea, but I'll always tell you what, what the, the subscriber actually said. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you like this. Um, I've got to clean all of these. The biggest problem with having this many is the dust. So every like once a month, you have to go and like just dust them off because they collect so much dust. Um, but anyway, I hope you like this. Please do me a favor. Please subscribe. Please like, please comment. And as always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.